Hey, welcome back guys. My name is Daniel and this is The Lion's Den. If you're new around here, I make videos on lifestyle, mentality, lemon, men's fashion, spimo nature, and everything above. All the things that guys have problems with these days. So, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and let's get to the video. This is my car. It's a 1995 BMW 525i. And I got it back in 2019. And uh, I, at the time, I was working two jobs. One full-time and the other part-time. And, you know, I really wanted to make this video for the younger guys out there that wanting to get a vehicle, but, like, don't know where to go or how to even get there. So, you know, I wish I had someone to tell me how to step-by-step -step, um, get a vehicle like this and just any kind of vehicle. It doesn't have to be an old BMW like this or maybe even a newer car. Um, but, you know, I just want to, like, help the younger guys out there are looking for a car, really want one. And want to set their mind to it and you know this isn't easy but if you really set your mind to it I think anything's possible so here's a little backstory this car wasn't actually the one I was going for I was actually going for a 1995 BMW M3 and you know I like the E36 series and it I mean they're awesome cars but uh, you know I really wanted that car so what I did was I set a goal to have a car like that by the end of the year 2019 I didn't know how I was gonna do it, but I was gonna have a car I actually ended up accomplishing that goal by getting a car, but I only did it in three months So someone so young I was 17 at the time I Worked two jobs and I got my car on my own and I was very proud of that So I just want to let you guys know that you can do it and I just want to give you some tips that I've learned on how I've had a car like this or how I obtained a car like this how to maintain it because you know sometimes you, we're young young guys don't really know too much about cars and that's okay because that's how you can learn but you know just some tips I got for the young guys and I really want to help out because I wish I knew this knew these things before I got this car so tip number one this is going out for the younger guys like I said but this can be applied to all different parts of life um, you have to be willing to sacrifice I sacrificed my entire summer for I dedicated it to work and I was working a full-time job which was where I worked at the bank I did IT work and after that I worked at Sonic for uh, part-time on the weekend and I was working seven days a week no breaks nothing I never had a day off I still hung out with some friends but it was very minimal because I was always I was tired after work and you have to be willing to sacrifice for something greater and if you really want it like that's what kept me going it's hard and if you really want it and you want to accomplish it in one summer you gotta get at least two jobs and that just depends on what kind of car you want too I mean be a little bit realistic with yourself you're not gonna buy a two two hundred not two, twenty thousand dollar car like I don't know a new Subaru or maybe a truck and for the taquachas out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not gonna get a new Chevy, a Cheyenne, whatever, a Silverado, whatever you want. Maybe if you're a Ford guy, or you like, I don't know. If you think you're gonna get a Porsche in like three months, you're screwed. Or like a Lamborghini, or a Ferrari, or just any luxury car. You can get it, but it's gonna be pretty busted, old. So just remember, sacrifice is everything. You're gonna sacrifice some of your days you hang out with your friends. Sometimes you're gonna sacrifice sleep or like. Tip number two, you have to learn to save your money. Now, I know this is very simple and seems like everyone knows this, but common knowledge isn't common practice. This will benefit you because it won't only teach you self-control, but it will also teach you just normal life in general. Like if you don't have self-control, then how are you gonna, how are you gonna be able to even maintain the car or keep payments if you do a payment plan or uh, buy from a dealership like you have to have some kind of self-control you have to have some money saved up and I it's like if you're young yeah go spend some money have some fun I'm not saying just hoard it but I mean the more you keep to yourself the faster you'll get to your goal tip number three this is being your own account and calculating your own money now this is pretty much related to the second one, but if you 
keep con if you keep con in control of like your money flow and you know where your money's going you're not buying subscriptions and like forgetting about them or even like just going out too often buying a bunch of junk food like you have to know where your money's going and you know being your own accountant is gonna help you a lot a lot because you're gonna you know you're gonna know what to save know what to invest in and know what you can spend you should really just think about where your money is going in. trust me this seems really simple but like I said common common knowledge isn't common practice tip number four so this one's more of mindset and I just want you guys to focus on what could be and you know I can see how especially someone young working a minimum minimum wage job how crappy it can be because you're missing out on your summer you're missing out with your friends or partying whatever you want to do but I just want you to focus on that car the car or whatever your goal is if it's a car like I my goal was great if it's something else that's same thing but I really want you guys to focus on what could be because when you get caught up in the endless or the when you get caught up in the grind I mean yeah it's easy to, easy to get discouraged and I would be lying to you if I haven't felt discouraged at all when I was working to get a car but you just gotta stick to it and you just gotta like imagine yourself driving the car whatever you want or you doing whatever you're working for. I know every day I had to remind myself, like, why am I doing this? I'm working for a car. And you should do the same. Always remind yourself why you're doing something. You can't just do something and just not have a reason for it. That's, that's why people slow down. That's why people question things. That's why you start to hate your life because you don't have a purpose. And when you have a purpose to do something, it everything becomes easier. It's like literally everything becomes easier. My purpose, back then was to get a car. I did it. That's what gave me the drive. No one else helped me out. The purpose is what drives you, all right? Discipline over motivation. Because when you're disciplined and you just consistently do something, the motivation comes after that. That's how you can accomplish something like this in three months or how, however long it would take. Okay, I just want you guys to picture yourself like cruising down the street. Like, if you want a car like this, hell yeah. Any other car, I don't <laughs> I mean, I don't care. If you're a Takuachi, you want a truck, more power to you, man. Hell yeah. But, you know, just remind yourself every morning, every day, why you're doing what you're doing. Number five, so when you get your car, I want you to think to yourself, how am I going to maintain this? I want you to know that, you know, the learning doesn't stop and... Because, I mean, after you work toward your goal, I clearly had to work on this car. It's an old BMW. And yes, I had my share of shitty times I was left on the highway or left at the school past midnight or even just having batteries explode in my face. Didn't have any footage of that. You have to learn to maintain your car because if you learn to maintain your car, you're going to get more out of it. I'm not saying this, that you can't take it to a mechanic. You should if you have the money, but most of us, we don't really have money, younger kids. But the, I think the more you'll benefit more just learning how to fix your own car. Look up YouTube videos, talk to a mechanic if you know one. Maybe your dad's a mechanic, maybe you have some friends that work on cars. It's like, Learn, learn how to, learn how your car works. Don't just get it and think like everything's fine because you're gonna have to learn some things about your car. It's just part of life and it actually really does help you because you can build bonds with that. I mean, if you do have friends, you know, get together and work on your car together. Overall, the point I'm trying to make is that learning doesn't stop there. Your hustle doesn't stop there. You have to be prepared for the future cost of your vehicle. So if you're working, seven days a week like I did, you're still gonna have to maintain at least one job, probably your part-time job. If you're in high school, you're gonna have to be working in order to maintain a vehicle like this or any other type of vehicle, no matter how new or old it is. So the last tip I wanna talk about is something I've already talked about through the video, but it's you really have to want. You have to have the drive in you to achieve the goal that you set for yourself. So for, like I said, for me, I wanted the car by, an end of the, by the end of the year, but I didn't in three months. 
you know you gotta have that burning passion in yourself on day one you can't just think you want it but you don't have any passion you don't have any drive to do it and you know with that passion that's what's gonna really drive you through and that's what's gonna feel feel you to get through the entire summer or whatever however long you work to achieve your goal for a car whatever it is I mean that's what helped me through the seven days a week when you know all my friends were hanging out partying having the time of the life while I was busting my ass off all summer but in that I actually learned a lot about myself you know when you're whip driving on your new whip you're gonna feel that com accomplishment that you've done something that many people would fail to do and especially if you're young that's such a great feeling because when you overcome something at that young of an age, like buying a car, you'll feel a lot of pride in, you know, the, what you're driving around is your hard work. So I want you to think about that and just really think about how things can work out in the future, not at the moment, but how you can improve to get to where you want to go. Like I said, it's not easy, trust me. It's actually pretty hard, but anything's possible, guys. This is evidence right here. This is the car I've worked for. It wasn't expensive, not even saying like it's hella, hella high dollar. It was actually really cheap. I mean, BMWs depreciate like hell. And you know, just a little bonus tip, be grateful for what you get. I wasn't gonna get this car. I was actually looking for uh, M3, which is an E36, you guys didn't know. But I found one in Ohio and I was gonna go get it with my family. <laughs> But it got sold like the week we were gonna go. So I was really bummed out and you know I was throwing such a fucking fit and I think about it, but I'm ashamed to admit it now, but I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. Like after I got this car, my dad found it for me. When we were driving to Denver, I actually didn't think I was gonna like the car, but you know, once I first saw it, like I knew this car was gonna be great because I mean it looked awesome, I loved it. But you know that really taught me that to be grateful for what you get you know if you don't get a, a nice car I got really lucky with a car like this but if you don't get a nice car if it's a clunker man just enjoy your car because you're gonna that's just, that's what you worked for and you know drive it like hell like drive it like you're driving a new whatever car you wanted because it's not the car itself it's like the pride in driving it and just knowing that you've worked hard for something anyways take pride in your work i want you to be enjoy like enjoy life man and be glad that you got a car most people in the world don't have cars like this or even able to drive around like as much as we can so just be grateful don't throw a fit like i did don't be a beta cuck ass <laughs> i admit it I, I messed up but you know, it all worked out in the end. Now, fellas, maybe the last reason I want to make this video is because I'm getting ready to sell this car. And like I said, you really build an, an attachment to it. I mean, your first car is like everything. And this, this wasn't my first car. My first car actually burned down in the middle of the road. But this is the first car I actually worked for. And, you know, you're going to build that connection it's like almost like a new friend to you. This, this car has been through hell with me. It's gone through the best days and my worst days. This car carried me through everything. I went through graduation with this car. I, you know, I've been to like long distances with this car. I've been stuck in the middle of the highway with, with this car. So many memories I have of this car and, and that's what something I want younger men to enjoy is like whatever you get whatever vehicle you have just enjoy it because you don't know when it's gonna go and you know it's kind of i'm honestly pretty upset that i might have to get rid of it because there's too many issues with it i don't have that kind of money i'm a broke ass college student just enjoy what you have fellas be grateful for what you get because you never know when it's gonna go away and um i think it's time to let this guy go Alright guys, that's all I got today. I hope you liked it for the younger guys out there. I really hope you guys get what you want. Vehicle-wise, whatever you want. But I hope I really helped you out just mentally because I know I didn't really give too many tips other than like basic things like work hard 
I mean, what else am I supposed to tell you? Like, you have to put in the work. And yeah, save your money, save your money, fellas. Invest it, buy your vehicle, enjoy it while you have it, because having a lot of money when you're young is, you can do a lot. But, you know, just remember why you started in the first place. Don't forget why you're working as hard as you you are, will be, because, you know, at the end of the day, this is your pride, and what you do is what you work for, and, you know, just bring it all together, guys. So, that's all I got today. My name is Daniel. This is the Lion's Den. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Give me the likes up, and uh, share this video if you liked it anywhere. I think anyone needs to hear it, but I tried my best explaining my journey with it if you guys want to hear more about my story about the stupid car <laughs> i say stupid because sometimes it breaks down on me but if you guys want to know more about the journey with this car i'll let you if, just let me know in the comments i'll try answering some questions and uh any more tips i can give you if you want help you know working for a car or any different types of jobs someone young can do let me know in the comments like i said it's all i got fellas like, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy. That's all I got. Jeez. Peace out. Stay beautiful.